Well, Chris, three-quarter time, it was looking pretty encouraging, and yet, unfortunately, we were overrun that last quarter. What do you think actually happened there? I don't know. Just, you know, Collingwood a good side. We knew that they were going to come all night, and, um, you know, just couldn't go with them in that last quarter. I think they just ran, us, ran all over the top of us. So, um, you know, it happened last week against Richmond as well. Uh, we just got to take our opportunities uh, in the next following weeks, and, you know, that's why, we, that's why footy's such a good game, because you've got another week to, to you know, get back at it. And, of course, I suppose you, it doesn't get any easier from here on in Geelong. You know, got up today, you've got them at Eddie Had next week. It, uh, it's another huge test. Yeah, a huge test, but, you know, once you... You know, this AFL is such a demanding game and, and no game's, you know, ever easy at the moment. So, um, you know, we just, we're confident that going into next week that we played some pretty good footy today. So, um, you know, hopefully we get a few players back next week and, you know, stretch our line-up a little bit, so... Yeah, we were obviously without a, a, a tall forward and a, you know lay the ground forward. We had to manufacture goals from somewhere, and re- really for the most part, yourself walks and, and uh, Jeffy Garlett responded. Yeah, I think our speed bothered them all night up there. Um, you know, that was our main focus going into the game, just take them up and then get them back. So um, it was something that we we planned and it worked out pretty well, but we just couldn't couldn't capitalise on our opportunities late in the last quarter. So it's unfortunate. But. Uh, Eighty-five thousand on the MCG. What's it like playing out there, Chris? Uh, yeah, it's a good experience, uh, but obviously I've played, I've been around for so long now, I've played in big games like that before, so uh, yeah, it's just another game really, you just, once you're out there, you you take it all in when you first run out, but then it's just another game of footy really, so. It'd be remiss of me not to ask you about that mark in the second quarter, how did you do that? Uh, I'm not sure, I just kept my eyes on the footy and it just happened, it just plunked, it just stayed in my arms and uh, fingers, sorry, and yeah, it's just happened, so um, yeah, it's lucky enough, I yeah, took a few up there, so it was good. And there was a little bit of banter between you and Geordie Russell. Can you say what was said there? I was just trying to get into him a little bit because, you know, obviously I know him pretty well, Jordan, and I just wanted to shatter his confidence a little bit so I can, you know, hopefully play a better game than what I did. But, uh, yeah, it worked out all right. So from now on, we just got to you know, knuck it down and get back to training and hopefully we come back big gun plays it next week. Well, we've been thereabouts for both Richmond and Collingwood. Chris, hopefully we get over the line and get some cats and, yeah, you're cherry right ready to go. Uh, yeah, we we we. we clearly shown that we can match it with the best. Um, we just got to, you know, stop having these brain phases late in games and um, hopefully, you know, this next week against Geelong is another huge test. Uh, yeah, they're probably one of the best teams going around the comp at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we can't wait for next week and hopefully we can get a win. Rest up, mate. All the best for next week. We'll see you then. Thanks, mate.